If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. Sorry about all the mishaps, I guess. Uh, it's just been very, very annoying um, to deal with YouTube today, so we are back on Twitch. Um, you might be watching this on YouTube, so don't forget to leave a like, but we are definitely live streaming on a Twitch today, so thank you to everyone who's here. We are going to be playing with an updated Guardian deck updated guardian for today and a couple other decks hoping to stream at least three different decks um, I do intend to have content for YouTube every day whilst I'm gone in Brazil starting next week so hopefully um, we can push through so guardian a pretty pretty powerful deck um, right now the two new um, the two new fancy shiny new toys in um, Cosmic Eclipse are ADP and Reshiram, and of course they are Dragon types that are weak to Fairy, therefore Guardian Sylvian was really good before and it remains really good right now. We have the Fairy Song attack where we get to attach to Fairy Energies and attach them to our bench Pokemon and please 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 if, um, if the sound is too loud definitely definitely let me know. Yeah, definitely, definitely let me know. That's not what I want. That's what I want. <clears throat> uh, yeah, anyways. Um, Garber, Sylvan, Kaleo Storm, 150 damage. You get to hit for double on those weak type Pokemon, 150. Also, two KOs pretty much every single thing in the game, or even one KO, so really powerful attack. And we can build up to a Magical Miracle GX at some point where we deal 200 damage and if we have three extra fairy energies we get to remove our opponent's hand by making them shuffle it back into the deck. Now we are playing the Megalopony and Jigglypuff GX with a jumping balloon attack dealing 60 damage plus 60 more for each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX in play. That means a simple tax switch gets us a knockout and we are now able to hit for a lot, a lot of damage that we weren't able to before. And we have Puffy Smashers GX, which with a double tax switch turn is not impossible to pull off, along with Kaleidos Storm rearranging the energy. So being able to hit for Toner on the bench might also be impactful at some point. And we have Cernius GX for the Sanctuary GX attack, very important against Malamar. Really, really cool GX attack that completely heals all of our Pokemon. And Girl Cut, Benji, Frost, Kalkar. Thank you so much for being here, Wolf Jake as well. Thank you so much to everyone who is here. Now, the deck does run on basically a new engine. We have the Tackle, which allows us to search for two tag team cards, which include these five Pokemon, as well as our Cynthia and Caitlyn's, which allow us to get back discard supporters such as the Greens Exploration. And we also get to draw three cards, which is really, really good. Um, Sparty Pants, do I like Steptel or Aquanade in the Rowick deck? Do you mean the Expanded one? In the, in the Expanded, I think um, I like the pure version. But for Standard, I think you need Aquanade in order to have a chance against the Fire-type decks. But even then, it's probably not enough. And hello, Iberserk. All good. How about you? I'm having some issues with YouTube, so we are back on Twitch for today. And so... We have Cinta, Caitlyn, we also have Malo, Lana to go with the tackles so that we can switch our active Pokemon with one of our benched Pokemon. 
um, and we can heal up to 120 damage or 120 damage rather not up to hello que tal Leo? gracias por pasarte um, next up we have of course the green exploration the base of the deck allows us to search for whatever we need on any given turn and because of the threat of Keldil and Chaotic Swell, we are now playing our own Fava to remove the um, Chaotic Swell and then we are able to play our own power plant and hopefully get rid of the Keldil. Um, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. We now have the inclusion of a single Dragon Type Fairy Charm because of the threat of the new Dragon types, especially Reshiram, which can one kill you, so slowing them down for one turn can be pretty good. And with Chaotic Swell, we do gain protection against their attacks. We have Double Psychic Fairy Charm, one Lightning, though I do expect Pigram to be less less popular. A single Ultra Beast as well, and then the nine Fairy Energy. So let's jump into the ladder and see. Huh? I didn't make any changes, but sure, let's see. Um, let's jump into the ladder and see if we can get some wins with. Guardian today. All right. Today, the first day you can put pressure on it. That's good, Iberserk. I mean, take your time to heal, right? Take your time to heal. Are there any standard decks that use Shuffle GX right now or no? Basically, every deck in standard relies on some form of energy acceleration. Um, Blounce has Nagnadel, Reshiram has Nagnadel, Reshi's Ark has Welder, Mewtwo has Welder, um, Guardian has the Fairy Song, so definitely Shockle GX's ability would be awful and its attacks are very, very mediocre, so definitely not something to consider in Standard, but in Expanded it just won a Regional, so there's the, the trade-off, right? Right. So we are going second against I don't know what. Um, possibly Blacephalon. Uh, maybe Ray for whatever reason. All right. So I do have this. I don't want to use the tackle right now. I feel like I mean I could just not to use anything. That seems bad though. So let's go for a greens on a power plant to potentially stop my opponent's damage output and then let's go for the dragon fairy charm. I think that seems pretty solid. So do I go for the tactical or not? I feel like I won't go for it right now. And then let's just fairy song. Seems like my opponent is dead drawing so this might be a quick... Alright, is the music okay by the way? Hopefully the music is okay. Shuckle Hoopa Valpomen expanded. Um well Shuckle Rowex Valpum just won the last ex the first expanded regional of the season. You're using Rare Candy's Excadrill list, and it's crazy. I will give Excadrill a, a genuine chance at some point. Okay, so we're up against Blacephalon. Well no, never mind. Well maybe, but why would you play this puzzle? Why would you ever play this Bozzle in a Fire-type deck? That makes no sense to me. Crazy that my opponent immediately had to counter to the Power Plant. And... Uh, Friendless Banco, thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Was the music okay? By the way, please let me know if the music is okay. So we see the side power, not super impactful. There has to be Blossephalon in there, right? There has to be. Alright, so... What I can do is... I need a... I need an energy, right? That's what I need. 
to start applying pressure. So maybe I just go for a greens. That's the only way to really guarantee energy. And I'll just go for another power plant. And Dark Team, thanks so much for the follow. <clears throat> power plant seems good. And then the, the Ultra Beast. The Ultra Beast. Well, I could have just got an attack switch, but attaching energy is also important. The Ultra Beast Fairy Charm seems important, that's for sure. I'll split them two and two. Well, that could make me whiff an attack. So, with no Beast Ring, I think I'm safe keeping the energies on the active, actually. Yeah. Alright. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you, Paul? I have not played Dark Box, Wolf Jake, but I actually built the deck to play today, potentially. Um, I did build the deck to play it today, potentially, based on Omnipoke's list that he streamed, I think, yesterday or two days ago. So, we'll see. We'll see if, um, if we get to play it, but I do intend to play it. I think it worked pretty well for him in his video, right? So I think that's a solid place to start off. Okay. So there's the Blastafel and finally there's a Synthium. So the Ultra East Fairy Charm seems important. My opponent is able to find a counter stadium to my power plant. So perhaps leading with the Chaos Oil would have been better. What cards did I change? I don't remember exactly. I did that in the morning, like six hours ago. Well, five hours ago. Yeah, Reshi's Art seems pretty good. I really liked the ability Reshi's Art the other day that I played it, and I didn't like. Um, I didn't like Green's Art when I played it. I know why the the Green's Art deck just has never really appealed to me. Always been more of a more of a um, ability kind of guy. Why no great potions or great catchers? I mean, no great potions because I have Malo Lamp. No great catchers because usually every card matters in this, though I could see myself playing one or maybe two. Um, there's definitely merit for both. Yeah, it's just you can only play 60 cards. That's the main reason why I don't have um, both of those cards, which are really good, but. The fact that you can search for Malo Lana and just heal and switch seems really good and really powerful. So that's one major factor. Alright. So... I have the KO on this guy, right? I definitely have the KO on this guy. I think I'm gonna grab the Cernas because I can tackle for the low bunny at any point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and greens for the energy spinner and the Ultra East Fairy Charm to attach over here. And then I'm gonna transfer all the energies back here. I believe that's what I'm going to do. Right? Well, is that too risky? What if my opponent goes Great Catcher, License Labs, KO? That would be awful, right? That would actually be awful. Hmm. So can I afford to do that? Maybe I can't. I think I'll be okay. Right? What are the chances? I guess decently high with this ability, this ability. The amulets are gonna be annoying for sure as well. But if I bring my opponent down to zero cards next turn, that's gonna be huge. Oh, I don't have the energy for that. 
Any energy or reset stamp, I'll be happy though, I guess. An Eldritch Fairy Charm should be pretty game changing or game breaking. So there's the Ultra Space for Nag. Maybe to be extra safe, instead of the Energy Spinner, I could have just gone for a Chaotic Swell. Maybe that was better. I would have pretty much guaranteed that there was no risk for my Guardian. You're playing Control Breaks Yard, pretty decent, but you should play like one or two Pokecoms. Yeah, the, the issue is like you don't play a bunch of Pokemon, right? So the Pokecoms when you're only playing eight Pokemon total are not very effective. Especially when, if you have Volcanion, that's a Pokemon you were looking for with the Pokecom. So essentially you have four Pokemon to Pokecom away. And if you start with one of those, then you only have one or you only have three. So I don't know. Alex, resubscribing three months. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. So I finally have a double monitor set up. That's why you see me turning around there. I just want to make sure everything looks good and everything's working properly. Okay, so a bunch of energies in play by my opponent. He will draw from the bird, so is the GX not wasted here? I mean, it's not if I combine it with Power Plant, right? That would be the idea. And then if he goes, like if I go Reset Stamp, then um, like there's no, if I go Reset Stamp, I bring her down to three plus the top deck. Oh my gosh, there's the Lysner Labs, there's the Great Catcher. So that will be the game. <laughs> Uh, I guess I got greedy with the energy. I had I should have just gone for a chaotic swell, and that would have been fine. So, I mean, I guess Lysern Labs is a staple in Blastafla now. Um, yeah. You play nine two Hoopa for Volcanion to break third one lobe of. Okay, that's a lot of Pokemon. I mean. In reality, for Pokecom to really, really be effective, you probably want like at least 15 to 16, but I can see them where, like I, I know it's, like when you don't start Volcanion going second, that deck can be really bad. That's why I don't like that deck a lot. Um, no aún no pruebo algún mazo de BGM. Uh, no worries, girl cut, no worries. I, like if people stream snipe, I, honestly don't mind and gg um i got greedy there if i had just searched for a chaotic spell then i would have been able to stop that unless you had a marshadow but then like i thought about all of that i guess i got greedy with my energy as well by placing all of them i thought i would be safe but i turns out i wasn't oh you do have marshadow okay so then my only way around that was to just split the energies right that was my only and best way, just make sure that I had two and three um, to make sure the energies were split. So yeah, GG, very well prepared for the for the current meta, right? Very well prepared for the current meta. It's annoying that now you have to go like out of your way to to do things like that. All right, so we only have Cynthia and Caitlin for draw. But we are up against a non jx deck, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard the tools. Pretty poor draw as well. I guess I'll keep the stadium. Pretty poor draw off of the Cynthia Caitlyn. Pretty poor hand to start off with. And the one Pokemon against Fairy Song is probably the least useful Pokemon against my opponent. So overall, we are in a lot, a lot of trouble. A lot, a lot of trouble right here. All right. 
right. Yeah, so pretty nicely prepared for the meta girl cut. And I got super greedy as well. I got super greedy there, thinking I was safe, when in reality I wasn't. Um, Alright. So I guess I'll ferry song onto the one person I have. At least I can tag switch and start tagging with Guardian next turn. But it's obviously not what I wanted to do. My opponent's start was also very underwhelming though, so it's no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Alright. Finally, my opponent got a supporter, much better than mine, that's for sure. Yeah, Berserk, I mean, Greens is just overall a weird deck where it's like, with the right starting hand, it can be the best deck, and with the wrong starting hand, it can just be like, ugh. Uh, you know. All right, but no pressure applied by my opponent. That's good. That guy is very scary, actually. And this top deck was fantastic. That card is fantastic. So I could aggressively start to target down this person. What does Gengar even do? <laughs> um... I generally don't remember what Gengar does. Does it place four damage counters or is it six? If it's four, then I'm in trouble. If it's four, then I am in trouble. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna greens for a tackle and for a what? An energy spinner? Maybe a, another greens, right? Yeah, that seems good. And then with the tackle, I'll grab Gardevoir, Sylvian, and Cynthia Caitlyn. And then I'll transfer all the energy to my benched Guardian. Oh, put six damage counters. Okay, I totally knew that. So then this should be safe, right? This should be safe. I mean, this person should be safe. Uh, sure, I'll play the power plant. Well... I'm gonna play an extra save. I'm gonna call Ado Storm and I'm gonna transfer the energy over here. In case he tries to like confuse me or something. Or poison me or I don't know. Because I have this switch. Right? I have this switch, so let's be extra careful. Oh it's puts it puts them in any way you like. There we go. There we go. I thought it was six damage counters immediately, but there we go. Now that makes a lot of sense to avoid Getting KO'd. I could have also um, greens for double custom catcher to KO the hunter. That would have also been an option. <laughs> I reserved. Yeah, the deck doesn't seem very good. Spirit Tomb Gengar, this person, just doesn't seem very good. 
right? Doesn't seem that good. Gengar has to retreat, all right. I mean, with a triple, he could damage me, so I'm glad I don't. Um, I'm glad I transferred the energy back. Because I, I could have, like, it seems like I'm gonna die, right? It does seem like I'm going to die right here. Yep, that's correct. So then I go reset stamp, Cynthia Caitlyn, power plant, and I'm in a good spot, I feel. It's such a gimmicky deck. All right, I'm very glad I played it safe. I am very glad I played it safe. Okay, so reset stamp. And power plant. And then I just go for Cynthia Caitlin. Discarding the Faba, right? That seems like the best card to discard. I'll get a greens from the discard pile. I do find an energy attachment, which is not super impactful. I'll, I will go ahead and attach it, but not out of necessity. And I'll Magical Miracle GX for the knockouts. So down to three cards. Nothing in play to like really support the deck. Right? And um, we have a fully powered up card for Sylveon. I will hopefully end up winning in three turns time. Has the Elm, so that means a lot of Spirit Tombs. So at some point I might want to Mallow Lana damage away to prevent a KO, but should be fine. Ghastly, Spirit Tomb, and Mew. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Lots of damage counter placements by my opponent's deck. All right. Uh oh. Yep. Did find the energy. Did find the energy, so that's a problem. I mean, Malolina, that's probably going to be the card, right? To play here. Malolana. I like grabbing those two, and then I will Malolana the Poke Gear and one Greens. I think it's fine. So I heal 120 and then I'll switch back out and then I'll bench the Guardian and then this is the most threatening Pokemon that my opponent has right now so I'll go ahead and switch that. If this person goes down then um, I lose so there's no point in moving the energy around I would say. And then Cynthia Caitlyn I will probably end up putting back the Malolana into my hand. I think that's the play. You pulled a full art Malolana from your Cosmic Eclipse box? That's awesome, Alex. Along with full art Blastoise Piplup, Seal Valley Checks, and an Arceus Dialopolica. That sounds like a pretty sweet box, if you ask me. That sounds like a pretty sweet box. Right, annoying stadium. But nothing beyond that. So I guess I go greens for a counter stadium. The chaotic swell seems like a good idea. And a tax switch. That way I can attack with this guardian, which has the least amount of damage, therefore the least likely one to go down. So I'll go ahead and tax switch from this person to this person. And then I'll switch. Hmm. The game seems to be slowing down a little. Yeah, it's not me. What is happening? Hello? 
You play tons of healing and breaks your attack, it just destroys them. Yeah, that makes sense. Girl God, am I willing to try a Blast GX? Yeah, I already have the deck built, actually. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna play it today, but probably, if not today, then tomorrow. Uh, did my computer freeze or did PTCGO freeze? PTCGO froze, right? Are you still there? What? Like... PTGO decided to die. What the heck? What the heck just happened? Oh, but my opponent's side of the field is fine. How is that even fair? How is that even fair? So what was the glitch there though? Was it a switch? Was it tax switch? What the hell? What the heck, sorry, happened there? I have no clue. DDOs? What's DDOs? Gyarados? <laughs> what the heck happened there? If I lose because of that, I'm gonna be mad. I would have just won right here. I would have 100% just won. Too many entities? <laughs> Oh, what does this do? From one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So Spirit Tomb with four damage counters, that's a lot of damage. That's 130, 190, minus 20, 170, so it would be close to KOing me. And that rainbow does it. So my opponent just won because I timed out. What the heck? Hyperdissimo. What the heck? All right, that was definitely a win though. I'd say that was definitely a win. Like if I had taken a prize last turn, well, I guess if my opponent found great catcher, he could have done the same thing, right? So, I don't know. Was that a win or was it not a win? Was that a win or was that not a win? That was so weird. That was actually so weird. I'll count that as a win, so there's a code for everyone in the chat. Best of luck to whoever gets it. That was really, really weird. Oh, and I chose the wrong deck. <laughs> Oopsies. I chose the wrong deck now. See, there's the Blounce, Girl Cuts. I'll use Blounce. Um, I'm not sure if today or tomorrow. All right. So we lose a coin flip. We're up against a fire deck. I could be problematic. <laughs> awesome. I'm hoping tomorrow we'll be back on YouTube though, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. Seems like technology is not being very nice to me lately. However, I do like my second monitor setup. I'm not sure if I'm getting the most out of it yet. Maybe I need to have like both of them here instead of like this, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, very decent start, that's for sure. Very decent start. The energy spinner in hand, the greens exploration already in hand as well. I feel like Megalopony, depending on what my opponent's playing, might be important to surprise with, so we'll see. I do get triple mulligan, that's fantastic. Against Blastephalon too. Um, yes, Bruno, that's the only, those are the only people that can give out demo account Pokemon. So yeah, my demo account is indeed courtesy of 
Pokemon. Because look at all the free marketing I do for them. So we talk like this person. My opponent's start is very underwhelming. What? Oh, this is Chandler then. This is so much easier. This is just going to be a wreck. That was a weird song. Alright, so um, we grab the church. What are we actually missing? Nothing really, right? So maybe we go for, well, not a power plant, a KRX well to mess with my opponent's um, potential stadium cards like Giant Hearts, like Heat Factory. And we'll do this. Ah, uh, that church probably should have been a tag call. That was. A little bit silly. Let's play this, that's for sure. To thin. Play that to thin. And then we shall do this to not be damaged. And then fairy zone. And then we might just win next turn. Um, am I going to LAIC? Yes, I am going to LAIC indeed. I should be arriving on Thursday. Next week. ¿Cuál sería tu top 3 de The Post Cosmic Eclipse? Saludos hasta España, Snowy. Um, aún no podría definirte un top 3, pero me gusta mucho Arceus. Eh, Reshiram, definitivamente ya lo tengo medio descartado. Gardevoir me gusta mucho y creo que Malamar me gusta mucho por ahora. Chandler versus Control Breaks In is almost an auto win. For whom? For Control Breaks In, you mean? Right. All right. So we have a game. Why wouldn't my opponent bench the Litwick last turn, though? Either he top decked the Litwick or he top decked the Elms. Either way, why wouldn't you play down the Litwick last turn? That makes no sense to me. Okay, so we get a tackle. Get a tackle as our top deck, that's very nice. Then I'll go ahead and do this, and then I'll go ahead and greens for a switching card and another greens just to have variety. And then I feel like I just go GX KO. I don't see any reason why not. Like, I don't get to destroy my opponent's hand at some point, but what's the point of doing 150 and then getting confused yet again, right? Let's just take the knockout. Let's just take the knockout. I, uh, well, I could get knocked out, I guess. What does Chandler do again? I forget. 10 plus five. He has to hit all five. Otherwise I survive with 10 HP. So like on average, we're gonna survive, right? On average, we're gonna survive. My opponent even goes after the guard of war on the bench. Doesn't even bench their Litwick, that makes sense. Tate on Lysum. They did immediately after our Candy Chandler. So my opponent's turn one play was really odd. Really, really odd. There's a Poke Gear for a Hapu. And then we're gonna see the Chandler just maybe wreck Guardian. Once again, he needs four out of five. And he was nowhere close. He only got two. He only got two, a Chandler and a Blades again. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach. We are going to Malo Lana, definitely Malo lana with the healing. I think that makes a lot of sense. And then we shall, I think just KF this person is fine, right? It's a Pokemon that has the energy. This is not a threat. And just in case, because I do have energies, I'll just move the energy to the back. They do have energies to attach. 
Chandler destroys Bravesyard? Oh, really? Does it though? I mean, it's down to RNG, right? From that, for them like hitting all the right Pokemon at the right time. Very little damage. <laughs> very, very little damage for my opponent. Uh oh. Oof. <laughs> and I just take the KO, right? Well, I guess I'll Cynthia Caitlyn. It's going to the Cherish, and I'll get back. Not the green, the model mana. <laughs> Is the sound okay? Alex, does the sound okay? Uh, Kaleida Storm, get the KO. Last, I guess. Seven cards left. I wouldn't really need to drop Scrit here. Incinerar back into the deck. Uh, does the Incinerar allow my opponent to survive? It does, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Very kind of you. Wow, didn't even hit the Incinerar. <laughs> didn't even hit the Incinerar. I mean, my opponent concedes, it's not like they have a chance anyways, I think. Alright, so another code for everyone. For everyone who's watching right now live on Twitch. And let's do our last game of Guardian. And then we'll move on to our next deck. Alright. Chose the wrong deck again. Why is it changing to Blastephalon? Why is it doing that for me? When did I ever click Blastephalon? I just want to keep using Guardian. Please, PCGO. Don't be annoying. Disturbs, two great potion to Malolan and tons of support retrieval. It sounds like a good plan. That certainly sounds like a good plan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I don't think we're winning this one. Cause we are up against Mel Metal Lucario, probably. Or like Scissor that I've seen some people try out. Big Ripperoni. <laughs> yep, there we go. 
So our hand is also not stellar. Um, the Fava, I don't foresee myself needing it. Pretty sad. Uh, let's go for the Lopony, that might be what we need here. And then there's no way for me to die this turn, right? It's all just us. Claros, no la puedo enseñar. Solo recuérdame ya que se vaya a terminar el, el juego. Still couldn't beat Chandler. Yeah, Chandler is too much RNG. Um, there's a greens, so no welder, that's good, right? No welder turn one is good. Welder turn two is certainly happening. So we might try and reset stamp. We need a really good Cynthia Caitlin right now. Really, really good Cynthia Caitlin. Would she GX right now? I don't think she would, right? I don't imagine she would GX right now. Mega Lopony Jigglypuff is gonna have to be the game winning card right here. Too bad we start with such an awful hand. Alright, so let's go Cynthia Caitlyn. Discard the power plant. Sure, I'll get back the Fava. Come on. Really? No energy? We're up against a bad matchup. And we get the horrible hand. <laughs> Come on. I could just lose here if I don't do this. Ah, and now we're dead drawing too. Jeez. How does this even happen? The worst supporter is possible to start off with. The worst no energy draws with 11 outs. Greens in the deck as well. Jeez. <laughs> what the heck? All right. When I said that was the last one, I lied. We're playing another one. <laughs> when the game just doesn't want to cooperate, it just doesn't cooperate. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. All right, now we're up against Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, Keldeo, I would imagine. You're already at 1500 on the ladder, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, we get to go first. Right, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Starting hand. I like I would love to ask the developers of PTGO why do they hate me this much? Um no 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 I don't think it can. Not consistently enough. Like it all depends on how fast you play, but opponents slow playing might also be a thing. Can I die in turn one? Probably not. I wish that was a power plant. What a start though. What a start. Poke gear. Against Potato Shang. I mean, it all depends on how fast you play. But then opponents might also not play as fast. They might not be 100% sure what to do. There's a lot of things that go into it, right? Okay, if my opponent doesn't end here, I think we're fine. Um, great catcher into the Dene? Yeah, great catcher into the Dene. Discard Cynthia and reset stamp. Mm. 
Yeah, I would definitely not recommend Peachy, best of one. It's doable, but seems unnecessarily risky. Wow! <laughs> My opponent completely whiffed on the end's resolve and then immediately scoops. Alright, so depending on my top deck, that might have been a decent game, right? That might have been a decent game, but um, alright, so I guess I lied again. No, this will be the last game of Guardian. Um, I'll show the deck list for the person who requested that, and then we are going to be moving on to a different deck. This is a list that I was using just now. Um, Obviously, when you can't hit energies or greens, then <laughs> you're in for a rough time. Um, okay, so next up, we are going to be playing with, I reckon, the Dark Box. I reckon Dark Box is a good call for today. So, I will be right back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. We're just going to have a quick commercial break. 